This video is for Bjorn Broa, who sent me a video of her progression, which starts with a D minor, goes to a C, and works its way down to B flat and to A. So it's not very hard, it just goes. And she's posted that video on the Quaverbox Facebook page if you're interested. But what I thought I'll do is I'll just respond with a video as well, showing you a few extra things that you could do in that progression. Now, when you see me play a D minor, very often I'll play it as a D minor 7 with a C in it. I'll also include the E. Gives it that, that richness, or it can give it that, that sort of tension if I put these two notes at the bottom of my chord. The C chord I'll probably play as a C2, like that, or like that. At times I might even change the chord a little, I might sneak in a, a B flat to make it a C7. Now the B flat chord, I would add a 2 in it, I'd add a major 7, so I've got a C and an A in my B flat chord. And the A chord, which, which is the, the one that creates that sort of that tension, I'd often play as a, an A7, so not an A major 7, but an A7 with a G in it. To make it even harsher, I could put a sharp 5. Resolves nicely back to my, that F resolves nicely to the E. So you end up with something that's my D minor, a C2, there's a B flat major 7 to my A chord with a sharp 5. G, the 7 at the bottom. Put a 6 in. B flat major 7. Now there's a normal A7. A minor 7 would also work. Working down my C2s there, C2, C2, C2. So B flat major 7 with the A at the top, CF, which is the 2 at the bottom, so I've got 7, 2, 7, 2. Very often after I've done a little bit down here, I'll move up just to create that variation. So So that's my A minor 7 instead of the, 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 the normal A major chord. So I'm using a pattern now. And I'll go up. Let's do a simpler pattern, something that you can follow a little bit easier than what I've just done. Let's do two notes. Try different two notes.
Okay, now let's jazz it up a little. We've got D minus seven. There's my C seven. I've got a B flat in it now. So this is my B flat chord, I've even got a G in it, C, F, G, and that little run I did before was just a, it's based on the diminished scale, G, B flat, C sharp, E, and then I just repeat that, G, B flat, C sharp, E, turns it into an A7 flat 9, see, so it's A7, Flat 9 is just a semitone above A. 9 is the same as 2, which is B, and the flat 9 is B flat. So you get this symmetrical looking shape, which is also part of a diminished scale. A bit bluesy there. So I've got this uh, little crush note. to a C7 type structure with an A at the top. I can crush that on my B flat chord. I can even play it as B flat 7. I'm just randomly playing a few notes there. Let's try a few more random notes just to throw in. That sounds like Pac-Man when it dies, isn't it? <laughs>